Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Zuhu Mail to Shopify in 2024. So today, we're enhancing your online store management by connecting Zuhu Mail to Shopify. This integration will ensure that your store communication flows seamlessly through your Zuhu Mail account. So stick around as I guide you through the step-by-step -step connection between Zuhu Mail to Shopify. So let's elevate your online business communication. So make sure to stick by and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow the tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case it could be any other browser that you could possibly have once you open that browser basically just go to the url section and for this video i'll use a third out party called zapier to establish this connection and even automate some stuff for you so go to this url section type zapier.com and hit the enter button this should take you into their home screen or main screen websites right away if you don't know nothing about zapier you can simply scroll down to read more information about this website and familiarize yourself with it or just have your own idea about it see what people saying about it and a lot of information that you may want to know if you're interested about pricing, here's it. You can pause the video and read everything that you want. And if you have an account, click on login to login into your account. If you don't, click on sign up to create a new account. You can use Google, Facebook, or Microsoft to create or even login into your account without any problems if you don't care. Or if you don't want to do the, all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account, entering your uh, information manually. It's very boring, especially when you do it over and over. So in here, I'll just click on login with Google because as you can see, can, uh, welcome back. I've already like come here so click on continue login with google and i will find myself on the dashboard right away so here we'll have to start by going to apps on this last panel click on apps and we'll have to check if there is shopify and zoom mail in there go and click on search apps and look for shopify as you can see shopify in there and now you will have to click on connect if you want now or you can do it afterwards now we can go and look for zoho or Zuhu Mail specifically. Sorry, so Zuhu Mail. See, yeah, as you can see, Zuhu Mail is in there. You can click on connect or do it afterwards. Of course, if you do it now, it's very better if you want to. So just go ahead and click on connect and connect to your account. Now, what you'll need to do, go and click on this creates, then click on zaps. Here we will where we will do our automated stuff with zap or zapier. We can use this AI tool to make everything like very easy for us as an example i'll just type here when i get a new order in my shopify so shopify store create uh, i don't know what should we create in zoom mail so create a tag as an example in zoho mail as simple as that and click on generate now we'll have to wait a bit five seconds ten seconds something like that as you can see new order create attack so if that's what you want of course here for you you'll not type the same thing as i typed just type whatever you want in here and they will create the automated option for you click on try it and it will be just put in here automatically you can change the event always so instead of new order, maybe new blog entry, new abandoned cards, new customer, new draft order, new cancel order, do whatever it suits you. Then once you click on continue, we'll have to connect into your account, of course. So for example, I'll just choose this account. The authentication is expired. So I'll have to log in again. But it's fine because I'm like not very not going through it so uh no need for me for you of course you'll have to connect into your account make sure that if uh, you're not logged in make sure to log in then you'll have to do the same with zuhu you can change of course the events instead of create tags you can create drafts folder whatever you want if you didn't find the action that you want in here you can go and create a new action for you this will be a bit hard but this ai tool will always help you so just type the action that you want like uh create creates an action so an action that send and 
send an email and create folder and tag hit the enter button click on generate and they will of course you'll have to agree and continue and they'll basically just create everything for you but if you don't want to use this you can fill everything manually just the method get post put delete batch whatever you want enter the url create parameter and additional headers just add them once you uh, done with this click on save and you will find the your action right here and you'll be able to choose it. So just choose the action that you want. Click on continue, click on sign in to sign in at your account. No need for me to do it. So of course, sign in, of course, you'll have to choose like the domain first of all, which is zoho.com for me. Yes, continue. And for me, as you can see, here's my account. So I'll have to accept and I'll be connected. Once you finish the connection, and if you click on the status and you didn't find like any problems in here, any errors, any warnings, that means you're already good to go. You'll find now a test option. So you'll find the test. Instead of this publish here, you'll find the test option. Just go and click on that test to test if the thing is working. They will do everything automatically for you. You'll for you have just to wait and see if it's working. If you get really a new order in your store, you will they will create a tag in Zoo. You'll have to wait and see if it's working correctly. That's good. If not, just go and check again. If you have a wrong uh, account, if you have a wrong uh, like event, of course, as I said, you will probably not have the same one as me in here. So do whatever you want. Once you finish, just give it a name. As an example, uh, I don't know, ordering uh, in Shopify. I'll just give it this name. Why not? And of course, uh, now, so just click on publish. And the zap will be done. You already like done it. You test everything, it's working, publish. So you establish the connection now and you even automate something. You can automate a lot of other stuff by creating other zaps. And yeah, so there you have it. You successfully connected Zoho Mail to Shopify in 2024. Now your online store communication is seamlessly integrated with your Zoho Mail account. So if you have a question, or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and happy selling. And I will see you in the next video. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to our channel for more helpful stories like this one. And goodbye.